In this video, I'm going to show you a number of ancient sites that were filmed with my quadcopter Pachacutec. Here we are at Palpa, which is about two hours from Nazca, and here you see the not-so-famous Palpa figures. They were created by the Paracas culture before the existence of the Nazca culture, were likely made about 500 BC. And if you look carefully in the, uh, the mountains on the left, as the quadcopter moves, you'll see that there are also other figures. Now also in the Nazca area, and actually exactly in Nazca, we find this amazing well. This well is likely, again, made by the Paracas culture more than 2,000 years ago. And it's in fact a series of wells <clears throat> that drill down into underground rivers that exist in the Nazca area. Nazca only gets about half an inch of rain a year, so for agriculture to exist, tapping of these underground systems was essential. And now here we have Pachacutec the quadcopter flying over top of these so that you can see that they are in a line, not a perfectly straight line, but a line that follows the ancient river system or stream system. Now these wells were used, of course, for not only agriculture, but also for drinking water, for bathing, and for the um, cleaning of clothes. And again, they're at least 2,000 years old. Now we move to the island of the moon in Lake Titicaca. And this, uh, this island was the domain during Inca times of the Virgins of the Sun, who were the most sacred of uh, the feminine existing in the Inca world. And here also you can see a number of terraces. And on the left side, you can see the Andes of Bolivia in the background. And this is another view of one of the Inca period temples. We get to go very close and up and over the structure thanks to the quadcopter. And now we're at Amarumuru or Aramumuru which is also in the Lake Titicaca area. It's a strange portal that was carved into red sandstone. No one knows exactly when or who created this, but it's a very energetic place, partially because of the iron that is in the red sandstone. Now, some people have speculated that it was only discovered recently by a quite famous uh, shamanic person in Peru. However, you can see it from the highway, which is only about a quarter mile away. It's very enigmatic, and it's the only one of its kind in Peru. There are other similar things in the Middle East, but only one of these in the Peru area. And then we move to Kutimbo, and we find these megalithic towers called Chulpa. These are exceptionally ancient, probably were created long before the Inca people, by someone who had forms of lost ancient high technology. You see there's no mortar involved at all or, or cement or anything. It's stone upon stone. And another flyby of these Chulpa Towers, thanks to Quadcopter Pachacutec. And now, where are we? Oh, we're at Rachi, which is uh, about three hours south of Cusco, Peru, and this is a, a place that was called the Temple of Viracocha. You see a mass of different buildings and storage containers in the background where grains and other foods were stored. And in the center here you see the remains of the once great temple. It was recreated or rebuilt by the Inca, but is a megalithic structure that precedes the Inca by probably thousands of years. And one of the aspects of this place that most people don't 
get to see or bother to see is a very interesting stairway. And again, thanks to the wonders of the quadcopter Pachacutec, we're able to move right in and get a close-up view of the staircase. Now we're what's at the <clears throat> what is called the Inca Gate or Sun Gate. It's about an hour south of Cusco. And it actually was the southern border of the city of Cusco. No one was allowed to enter or leave without the permission of the military. And as we turn, you can see that the wall on the left is megalithic. And that is the original part. The Inca built uh, all of the other stuff around it. But when the Inca first arrived, in the Cusco area, they found this megalithic wall that again was thousands of years older than their culture. And this gives you a better idea of the detail. On the left, you see the, the stone construction of the Inca, but as quadcopter Pachacutec moves in, you'll see the remains of the megalithic aspect upon which the Inca built an aqueduct and other aspects of this amazing place. And now, back at Lake Titicaca, this is the famous Sun Gate at Tiwanaku. And here's Pachacutec flying over top. As well, we were able to film at the site called Pumapunku, which is actually part of Tiwanaku. Tiwanaku and Pumapunku are the same place, it's just they have separate fences and this is where some of the most enigmatic ancient stonework has been found not only in Bolivia but also in Peru and actually it's interesting because this site the way that it was constructed the way the stone was cut the different angles and features are unique to this site there is no other site in Peru or Bolivia or in fact the planet that was executed in this manner. More than 90% of the stone is missing because it has been plundered over the course of a thousand years, but even if there were only a handful of these magnificent cut stones left, then it would still be as intriguing as it is today or would be. And here we have Ollante Tambo which is a massive Inca site located in the northern end of the Sacred Valley of Peru outside of Cusco. You see just the incredible scale of it. And beyond this is Machu Picchu. And as we have Pachacutec the quadcopter going up the staircase here, you see the wonderful Inca period construction, these terraces called andenes, magnificent uh, works, but as we get higher up, you'll start to see that there are megalithic aspects, and the megalithic, once again, is much, much older than the Inca.